on all my YouTube friends, it's Jeff from Goldfish and Ghost Coon. It's going to be hard doing this video because it's, it's the second tape, you wouldn't know that, but people turning up halfway through doing the video this morning and mucking around with it and accidentally deleting it and it all went well. So, anyway, what I wanted to talk about is it's Sunday here, 35 degrees, things are warming up and the temperature's starting to get warmer and as you know I've said before, I find you might get the odd spawn under 20 degrees. Geez, I had the uh, two spawns two weeks ago and the water was only 15 degrees, but normally I find 20 degrees plus for fancy goldfish and goldfish, they must prefer that. Uh, the shrimp tanks are warming up because uh, they don't have heaters in there. They're starting to zip around, you can see the males shooting around everywhere, so we'll have some buried up females very shortly. Um, but yeah, so last time I'd done this it was a lot cooler. So I wasn't going to do an update, but I thought I'd do a quick one. Probably won't end up quick because there's so much bloody going on in here. Um, and uh, I'll show you what's happened. Now it's warming up, everything's moving a bit more, and everything's getting keen to do some breeding. Without further ado, I'll grab that camera and we'll go for a little walk. And we will start up this end first. So, yeah, bloody. I, I get amazed sometimes and uh, there's no disrespect for those that have got less than this, that's no worries. But I often think to myself, people say, oh, you've got to take more time sometimes when I go through some of these tanks. And the reason I don't, this would be literally hours long because I have so much happening. And I very rarely take you over to the other side, the shed where the ponds are, the grow out area and the small shed in there where there's tubs like this. You know, 500 litre tubs are over there and I don't really take these over there much. So if I'd done everything, it'd take forever. And I talk too much, so. All right, the peppercorries. Right, they're smashing out, breeding. You're going in that mop. I take that mop out every few days. I pick the eggs out. I've been dropping them in here. I've seen a few hatch out, not a lot just yet. So that's what I've been doing with those. Um, the sword tails are starting to zip around everywhere. They're liking the warmer weather. Um, yeah, as you see, well, there's a male look chasing a female there. So that won't take long. They'll be all uh, babied up very shortly. Um, and the golden danios, they scatter some eggs around. They also go on the mop, but they will scatter some eggs around. And um, down here, as I know everybody, it's, it's, it's a pretty cheap bloody fish, but everybody knows how much I love the, uh, look at that, male rosy barbs. People, you can just put them in with your goldfish. They can go out in cold weather in the winter. They're fantastic. Do yourself a favor and get some. Not very bloody dear at all. Uh, white cloud minnows, uh, once again, they'll scatter the eggs and they'll put them all in here too, in the mops. And there is some um, normal quarries in there somewhere. Uh, Ranchu, they're hiding away. They go through if under the back there. They'll be starting to breed soon. It stays a little bit colder because uh, the concrete's cold, so it takes a little bit of time for them to warm up them tubs. Uh, there's my lone uh, Siamese, or um, better fish. Beta, better. Um, now this tank, I started out with three of these. I've sold literally loads out of here. Probably saturated the market now to the point I'm nearly thinking about selling this colony, the lot. So, I mean, they don't predate on their young. That's the problem. So they don't, they don't cull themselves. And there's, as you see, that's the only bit of guppy grass down the bottom. Everything's open and they still raise heaps. Me peppers. Oh no, sorry. Peppermints. That's a nice big male there. There's some uh, smaller ones in there, another big male in there. Uh, lemon long fins, well I lost them. So that's just a common female bristle nose back there. And this is me 24 karat gold. 
not a huge colony, but I did only start with two males and four females, so, and there's loads of babies. Pop down here, there's my butterfly telescope. Getting close to breeding too, they're moving around a bit better now. We've got uh, golden white cloud minnows in there, which I've got to do a little bit more with this. Once again, egg scatterers, but they will uh, drop them in the mop. But you've got to be careful when you pull the mop out, all these bloody yellow shrimp that are in there. And I need to put another bigger fish in there because the last lot of bigger fish or saw tails I had in there passed away. So uh, the last uh, one was here, I think. There she is there. Only a female left out of them. I might get some more saw tails again and see. Never know. All right then, what do we got? We got a female hanging around over top and the males in there. They're uh, marble. Fleckos, they've had babies, they've been taken out and gone. Those babies, literally hundreds of green. Not as popular to sell, just a straight green. Not as popular to sell. We have Sturby in here and Hillstream Loach, but Sturby's been a little bit funny just recently, hiding away a lot. So hopefully they're putting some eggs up on the screen back over there somewhere. Uh, what do we got? A little project here. One uh, male 24 karat gold and three red tail gold snake skin uh, guppies. We're going to see what happens there. And we got Julie Eye in here and my King Tiger Plecos are in there as well, but they don't want to be seen at the moment. Um, we have my albinos, Plecos. There is a colony of Blue Dream, but they don't excite me. They're, they're not that great quality, so I'm going to take the good ones out and cull the others. And this colony of guppies, uh, red tail gold snake skin, doing really well. With, well, so I don't know if I'm going to keep going on the guppy line. Not real sure. We'll see how we go. We'll go back here, we've got uh, pandas. I've asked before, but nobody's told me. My pandas like to stay in the caves. There's super reds there too. Now, peppermints, they love going in the spawner mops. These like staying in the caves. So let me know people, do uh, pandas like to lay their eggs in caves or do they like the mops? So we've got um, empire gudgeons here and uh, they're crimson rainbows here now um, those empire gudgeons the male when he flares up he's a beautiful looking fish google it and have a look i haven't got one to show you he's not uh, flaring up but yeah uh we've got rummy nose in here i did get a few last year but uh they uh, scatter their eggs around and uh, angel fish i might be uh, selling this breeding pair they just predate on other fish too much they pick at the other fish if they get near their slate where there's uh, any eggs so and this male is in there he's trapped the female and I reckon it was this female here she's huge because that clutch of eggs is probably the biggest clutch of eggs in there that I've ever had as you see on there the uh, snails uh, they've grown up a fair bit from these ones I've got literally hundreds and hundreds of them there's some in there i've been growing them up in these containers picking the eggs out uh this is from the crimson rainbow and empire gudgeons i'll have to check later see if there's anybody anyone that's hatched out and we have uh the golden madaka i haven't checked this morning to see if there's anything in the mops but uh very very shortly there's blue dream shrimp in there as well and ink in the spawner mops uh, I don't know if I really see anything no not quite yet the water's not quite warm enough so yeah blue dreaming in there gold madakas we've got uh, black cherry shrimp in here we got uh, platinum madakas and a fair few young from last year in there we got uh, tiger madakas in here 
and also my selling bins of all different sorts of shrimp in there that are going to be sold off. Moving right along, my uh, very large Blackmore colony, enormous. She's over 12 inches, that one right there, and lost uh, her partner a week ago. He was a foot long as well, but by the time he died, he was only about nine and a half, ten inches, because they shrink as they get older, like we do. Right, this uh, tub down here, after the fry hatch out, when I'm going to wash it out, I tend to dip it and wash it out in there and let it dry out. So any babies that are left lob in there, and then every few months I'll scoop around and see what's in there. That mop is from the rosy barbs. So they'll hatch out in there, no worries. We have heaps of black moor babies in there, hard to see. Uh, and that's another spawn and mop from them. Yum bow spawn and mops in here. Um, and look at that, you should be able to see these. Oh, definitely here on the side. Loads of babies, hundreds of them in there of yum bow. Right, we've got uh, hundreds of uh, bristle nose in here, normal. We've got uh, about 40 or 50 young uh, marble bristle nose. We have some young gold danios. We have loads of rosy barbs. Hundreds of mystery snails. These all grow up in here, get sold out of here, in there. And we have down here some golden maduka young, but the way they're going, they're flying along. They'll be breeding this year. Oh, what's in that one? I don't know. I think that's a little platinum in there. God knows what's in some of these sometimes. I normally do not ever mix my goldfish, but I have. I've actually whacked in, there's a huge pearl scale with a hood, a normal pearl scale, six yumbau, and two roken, and I'm just gonna let them go for it and see what happens. I normally don't do that, I stick all the breeds the same. I don't do that normally, but yep, that's why some of these are empty, because some of them are all in here. There's my beautiful Arandas. Spawn and mops in. I'm expecting something tomorrow from them, hopefully. Ah, oh, here we go. This is my mutt shrimp. And I won't go over this because I've done it a few times, but that's me uh, swirl filter, biofilter, sump, the big battery bank and inverter. And that that run everything, the solar panels on the roof. And that runs everything in here. You can see at the moment, 14 everything's running in here and I've still got 14 so we've got my crystal blacks crystal reds haven't bred for me yet but this six have been in there for a while warmer temperature I'm expecting something to happen soon we have orange eyed blue tigers we have an empty one we have golden yellows. We have orange, tangerine tigers. Yeah, you won't be able to see them because there's only three in there, but there's a big female there. She's dropped all her eggs. So I'm suspecting the next few weeks I might be able to see some of them wandering around. So that was a fire red in here. Cherry reds, and we have golden bee. Right. And there's some uh, golden madaka young. Now, as I said, I've only flicked through everything. It is so hard for me to do everything here. And as people say, oh, I'll slow down and do it, I would be here for ages doing it, people. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. Another couple of weeks, the weather and the water should be right up there. And... Um, 
in temperature that is so I'll have more to tell you then so remember to subscribe share and like comment please and uh, I'll appreciate that helps the algorithm and I'll leave you on a parting thing just before I go plants people plants use plants in your tank helps filter things fantastic all right might do a, a video on plants soon I'll see you later.